What's really behind the Ukraine crisis? Now, while this is not meant to be a comprehensive overview of the unrest, it will serve as a useful primer. After all, it's a YouTube video. It's not an essay or a book. The main driving factor behind the uprising in Ukraine, and one that's been buried as a footnote by the corporate media, as would be expected, is that this is yet another faux revolution instigated by Washington in an attempt to geopolitically isolate Russia as part of NATO's encirclement of Moscow. You may remember back in 2004, Viktor Yushchenko, the Orange Revolution in Ukraine, which of course was accomplished, as is widely acknowledged now, with the aid of the Washington establishment and specifically the National Endowment for Democracy, Freedom House and George Soros' Open Society Institute, instigating these faux protests as an act of regime change. And lo and behold, one of the major protest groups involved in this uprising, you call it a protest group, it's actually a very violent organisation, Spilna Sprava, translated as the right deed, which is an Open Society Institute supported and funded group. So one of the major protest groups behind this uprising funded by George Soros. Now just as with all military adventures, faux uprisings and instigated acts of regime change, you have a viral YouTube video to back it up. Remember the Coney 2012 scam? Well now we've got the I am a Ukrainian scam. This is a video which has already achieved one and a half million views on YouTube. This attractive woman explaining the grassroots credibility of the Ukrainian protest movement. But if you actually have a look at who's behind this video, it's the same people who were involved in the 2004 uprising backed by the Washington establishment. Go to the author of the video and it explains that it's straight out of Stanford University. It's funded by a Moroccan prince and it's inspired by the work of Stanford University's Larry Diamond. And Larry Diamond's an interesting character because he's involved with, yes, you guessed it, the National Endowment for Democracy. The same group that was involved in the fake 2004 revolution in the Ukraine, which saw Viktor Yushchenko come to power at the behest of the Washington establishment.